we are going to be playing in a little tutorial on converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. And basically, this is to help younger people, or people who are my age and older, are just to make sure they know how to do it, or if they get confused, they can look at this video and know how to do it. So, oh, <laughs> improper fractions are numbers which is a numerator is bigger than denominator. So basically, here's an, here is an example of a fraction. Let's say three twelfths. Oh, that's one of the fractions. An improper fraction like six fourths here can be turned into a mixed number. So here we go. So basically, six fourths was to a mixed number is one whole all and two fourths. The reason is if you hold up six fingers is you can clearly see that only four well only one four can go into six. So basically the question is is how many fours go into six and only one and then you have two extras. So you have one whole and two fourths because you have two remainders and to get the denominator you can just use the denominator from the number that was the improper fraction that you convert it into a mixed number so here is the answer the next answer the next number is 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 13 fourths basically you can use your times table of facts and know that it you you can do three times four, which is twelve. So you can fit it it four or into thirteen three times with one remainder. So the answer would be three holes and and one remainder. So the answer would be three holes and one fourth. Oops, <laughs> three holes and one fourth. Oh, and here it is. You can just use the denominator from the previous number, as I said before. Next question. Nine twos. Basically, nine twos is quite easy because you can just do four, or you can technically do two times four, which is eight. So you can technically fit it. You can technically fit two into nine in four times one two three four with one remainder so the question is how many twos go into nine which i already explained in, and if you hold up your fingers you can clearly see that so the answer would be in, in, in four holes and one so technically, if you look over here, you can actually simplify these answers if you look closely. You can do lots of these. So let's simplify this one. So this this one, which is being simplified, would be one whole and one half. So basically, you can basically do this by halving this so you so basically you can have these two so you can do two divided by two which is one and four divided by two which is two let's see if you can you cannot do this one because you can do with these if they're in different times tables that go into both of these is but it, you can't really divide one or anything, so you, so that's the same answer. But this one, you can't. And so let's move on to the next question. 18, four, 18, 18 in fours. Okay, so if you think about, if you think about it, it 18, 18 fours, which is, the answer would be, four holes and two halves because if you write down if you technically write down 18 18 in, in and circle how many four is going to 18 it would be four times and, and you would have two remainders which and then you get the denominator from the improper fraction so it would be two four holes and 
two fourths. So let's write it down. So four holes and four holes and two fourths, which is like this. And then you can obviously simplify this one. And so you can sim don't make sure you do the equal sign four uh, and to one and half. Oops, into one half. There you go. The next one. Ah, so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do this. Okay, perfect. So the next one is 15 seventeenths. Basically, you can obviously use your times table facts and do two times four, two times seven, I mean, <laughs> is 14 with one remainder, obviously. So you can put it seven twice. And yeah, and basically the question is, how many sevenths go into 15? Each? And so the answer would be this with one extra. And so slash seven, you can obviously get it from the previous number. And here's your answer. Two holes and one seventh. The next one, and 25 sevenths. And so, okay, so let me think about this one. Okay, so I got the answer right here. And the question is, how many cents go into 25? That is really hard. And the answer is, the answer is, is, is it three holes and four sevenths? So let's go. Three holes and four sevenths can just. So basically, how to do this one is, is I worked this out by a couple easy things by doing three times seven, which is obviously 21. So I counted how many extras is that? It's, and it's 22. 23, 24, 25, so four. Or, so I counted that, uh, so you can fit some three times, and, and you can have four sevenths. But so for me, you have this answer. You can always use your times tables for everything in math, as because you need to know your times tables for everything in math for some reason. And so here are the answers. The first question is, is six, four, is you can turn that into one whole or and two fourths and simplify it to one whole and one half. The next one is 13 fourths, which, which can be turned into a mixed number by three holes and one fourth. The next one is is nine twos, is which it, it can be made is into four holes and one half. The next one is is eighteen quarters. Is and you can turn that into four holes and two quarters, which can be simplified into four holes and one half. And then you have these questions, which are fifteen sevenths into two holes and one seventh. And then you have this one, which is three holes and four sevenths. So my squad, I hope you like this video and I hope this tutorial helped you on learning on how to do improper fractions into mixed numbers. I hope this video helped you really well. So if you like this video, my squad, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that notification bell every time you get a new video. Okay, so that on my channel. Bye, Mommy Squad!